Hey guys, Chad Close here with CloseBlender.com and also part of CD Gaming. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys a little thing I found. Uh, if you ever try making visualizers in Unity, this one's uh, pretty cool. Uh, I'll just get it started up and I'll kind of show you what it is. Pretty much it is uh, a ring that is rotating with eight trails. Right now it's only showing four because the ring is too small. Uh, it's part of our new game that we're making and it just happens to be a really cool visualizer. So I thought I'd just show you guys this. So the ring is based on the size of the collider. So as I increase the collider, the ring gets bigger. And in this case, now there's eight of them because the ring is wide enough. Now, if I move this, I can get some pretty cool effects. So if you ever thought about making a visualizer in Unity, uh, you could possibly use this. So you can and just play around with this you can get some pretty cool stuff and I have eight trails so that's why it's making an octagon um, if you increase shapes or increase the trails or lower them you get more so as you can see I'm just increasing the collider pretty cool um, I have it set up so you can change the color of it too uh, there's red but pretty cool uh, I'll show you this I don't know I might have a video of this on my channel already. Um, let's maximize this. So, a quick visualizer I made uh, using some codes and why it's down there, I don't really know. Uh, let's see. Something is wrong. I think the camera is too high up. For some reason. Alright. Sorry about that. I haven't used this for a while. This is a quick uh, visualizer I've made. Turn the volume down here. Quick visualizer I made. Uh, it's based on DB level and uh, I think frequency. So pretty much what's happening is these particle effects at the top, they happen once the dB level gets to a certain uh, height, it kind of explodes. And these ones that are kind of flying off are when there's a big spike. So not a big spike, but a big difference in a short amount of time. So I'll go ahead and show you guys these codes if you've ever are interested in making them. Uh, I'll show you the select ring real quick. So pretty much I have, uh, this can be a private bar. I just have it available right now. Um, the ring radius, uh, the rotate, rotate speed, um, you don't really have to worry about that because it's covered down here. It's based on the ring radius. So I just have it equals 5 just just because cause early prototyping. Um, you have the object that is rotating around. And I've also I'm using this game. I'm using a script for an actual game, so a lot of this is unneeded stuff. But if you're not using it, it just turns all the trail renders off. But if it is using it, the ring radius is based on how wide the collider is. It's a little wider than the collider, and then the rotate speed is just based on a simple linear function that determines how fast it's rotating. So, I'm not going to go in depth and tell you every single line, but pretty much if the ring radius is less than 3, it's only going to use 4 of the ring. This is again just so it's not as cluttered. Um, I didn't make this to be a visualizer, so it's not optimized for that. And then if it's greater than 3, it uses them all, and then it puts these at the 45 degrees off of every vertical and horizontal. So, it, yeah. So pretty much, whenever I change the collider size, it puts all these trail renders back into the octagon that it's supposed to be in. So that's why you get that cool effect. Um, I don't have it queued up right now. I didn't save the scene, which was stupid. But yeah, so pretty much I can just drag, uh, drag it in here, I guess. So pretty much, you can see all the trails. It's just around in a circle. And they just have trail renders on them. Uh, you just use a simple material. 
uh, here's an example of my materials. There's just particle additives with a simple trail. So I have four different colors. So pretty simple. For the visualizer, as you see, uh, my names for this stuff is just, just, just horrible. I found this script on a website or off of Unity Answers or something like that. This part right here. And it just calculates uh, DV values, uh, what else? Pitch values, stuff like that. And then I use all that stuff based on set variables. So uh, if the DV value goes above a certain height, it's going to instantiate an explosion, stuff like that. So uh, pretty cool stuff. I'm not going to go in depth, but I just want to show you that. Um, if you guys check out uh, our new game, Sphere, it's pretty cool. I'll play the video over here. Uh, it's, it's, it's a pretty fun game. I suggest you guys go look it out. Uh, you pretty much collect rainbow blocks while dodging others, and you go through sequences. Um, so, you're all on a plane right now, and now you're going free fall, so it's pretty cool. We also have uh, Siberian Miner, which is a pretty fun game. Kind of like uh, Minecraft, but it's more 2D and not at all like Minecraft because you can't play Spox. But it's a pretty fun game. Check it out, CD Gaming. Spherix, the new game called. Uh, check it out. Thanks for watching.